nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen We are here at the yard Fixing to leave we got ourselves a load going to Indianapolis, Indiana. Correctamente. Una persona me preguntaba el otro día que me puede hablar un poco palabras en español. No hay problema, señor. Muchas gracias para el uh, uh, mundo que están a ver uh, mis videos. Anyways, I just had to speak a few words in Spanish. I got a request the other day from a subscriber of mine to speak a few words in Spanish because he said he uh, I guess he has some family members or friends or something like that they're watching me and uh, he said they didn't speak the greatest Spanish uh, or English I meant to say and so I got a request so I could speak a few words in Spanish yeah that would probably give him a good laugh I don't know, he didn't say that part, but <laughs> that will probably get him a good laugh. Anyways, I also do speak high German, so here we are. I'm gonna make our way down to the US. We're gonna be crossing Pemina again. That's right. I'm kind of curious on how the truck is going to be performing now since we got a new hangar bearing. Turn right on Highway 52. Yeah. I had my seat switched over as well. This seat sits completely different compared to the other one. Feels a lot better. The other one was hanging down to the passenger or passenger side to the driver's side. Oh, this one feels way better. Continue on this road for 21 kilometers. That's right, RJ. Oh, yeah, this feels a lot smoother and shifting and everything. Since now I got the hanger bearing, it doesn't feel like I'm shaking back and forth all the time. I was getting that quite a bit there lately, and I was kind of curious on why I was doing it. I knew something was wrong, but didn't know exactly what it was and now my mechanics uh, found it so I'm very happy about that they were a little bit tight on schedule to get it all done there they had lots of trucks in the shop but I'm very thankful that they did get it in man the seat sits nicely again the other one was broken you know and uh, it was all worn out too so it's kind of was kind of sitting uncomfortable here for a while now I finally switched it over now I just don't have no armrest they haven't uh, reassembled it and I haven't gotten around to doing that either because they have to switch the armrest around right so they weren't sure exactly how to take it apart so they took the whole thing completely apart and uh, took it out of there you know so that way they could sit, switch the seat right well because they did that they uh, didn't put it back right so well I told them I said I don't really need them you know if they're tight on schedule we can do that at a later time or whatever you know so I just threw it in the basement and knowing me that's probably where it's going to end up staying yeah But eventually I do want to get just new seats and that's it, you know, maybe I'll just go out and buy new seats, put them in here, and then I won't have to worry about it, right? That's right, that's the plan anyways. Wow, this is nice. Wow, this is just comfortable. The shifting is very smoothly. My seat is very comfortable. It's maneuvering the way it's supposed to it's just going to be all around good fantastic day we got a light load today 
We're only like 1,800 pounds in the box. Wow. Well, that's a good load. Although it isn't the greatest miles, it is a good load. That's for sure. Indianapolis is uh, just over a thousand miles from where I'm at right now. So, uh, so we got like a little bit over a thousand miles to go. That's all right. And they also discovered that my wheel seal on the driver's side steering tire was yeah, well, just yeah. starting to leak. And it was just very, very little bit. It was just enough so where you could tell it was uh, leaking and that little tiny bit had gotten onto the brake shoes. So we were able to use the brake shoes again. All that, so we had everything under control. That's right. Anyways, let's get out of here and then we'll uh, see what else we'll be able to show you. We should have a good day. Here we go guys, we are in North Dakota. Today was a very nice, easy border crossing. Very easy today. That's usually the way it goes. It's not that hard usually to come across the border for me because they know me already, you know. We got a good record here at the border never had an issue so uh, they usually don't have a problem with me crossing here right but uh, anyways I uh, am in North Dakota I know you guys probably seen this border crossing so many times already but we always do have some new subscribers never seen it doesn't really look any different here than it does in Manitoba does it <laughs> no, not really. The only difference is it changes over into miles instead of kilometers per hour. Yeah, highway is a lot nicer though, usually. That's right. We got 152 miles to go to Fargo. The truck is just driving way smoother now with this new seat and the new dry, sh dry shaft hanger bearing there oh yeah we love it alrighty guys here we are cruising along we are in Fargo North Dakota right now that's right looks like a little bit clouds up there up ahead of us hopefully that's not gonna be snow or rain I don't want either one of them. I want the sunshine. That's right. That's what we really want, but hey, we can't always get what we want, do we? <laughs> no, that's a fact. You cannot always get what you want. But it's been good. Very good cruise along so far. Very happy with everything the way it runs. Yeah, we will be entering Minnesota here right away. And then we'll be cruising along here the same stretch as we always do. Well, always, but we've been doing a lot of this lately. I was kind of hoping I would get me a nice long trip since I was going out on Saturday. I was really looking forward to maybe showing you something new for a change again, but... I wasn't able to do that, so well, I guess we're stuck with this. We're just gonna have to try and make them as interesting as we can for you guys. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to do that. Crossing border, entering Minnesota. There we Midway go. Station ahead. Yeah, just entered Minnesota, and there it's already screaming at me. Way station ahead. All right, all right. I guess we'll just have to deal with that. Hopefully they're closed today. Although these guys have a bypass lane, so uh, I'm only 1,800 pounds in the box, so I'm literally empty. <laughs> That's the way it is. Good fuel mileage, good fuel mileage, that's for sure. Anyways, let's put the hammer down and see what else we'll be able to show you today. Alrighty guys, we are done for today. I just finished uh, editing a video. And now we are 
ready for bed. I am tired. Yeah, that's right. No, I am tired. I have about 500 and I think 530 miles or something like that to go tomorrow, and then uh, we'll be in Indianapolis. Yep. So let's get ready to go to bed, and uh, hey, stick around for tomorrow. We got another video coming tomorrow. So with that being said. Have a good one, and we'll catch you on the next one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.